Hours before former President Donald Trump turned himself in at the Fulton County Jail on charges related to his efforts to remain in power after his 2020 election loss, dozens of his supporters had already gathered Thursday morning outside the facility. And the crowd grew steadily as the day progressed. Former President Donald Trump surrendered Thursday at the Fulton County Jail where he was booked on 13 felony counts related to an alleged scheme to overturn the results of the presidential election in Georgia. His surrender in Georgia marks the fourth time this year the former president has turned himself in after criminal charges were brought against him by federal and state officials. But it's the first time he will be subjected to a mugshot, which is expected to soon be made public. It's also routine for defendants in Fulton County to be fingerprinted and have their eyes scanned for biometric identification. The booking process was quick, as expected, since Trump's attorneys and prosecutors agreed earlier this week to a $200,000 bond, which prohibits Trump from intimidating his co-defendants, witnesses, or alleged victims in the case, including on social media. Ahead of his surrender, Trump made changes to his legal team, bringing in Stephen Sado, an Atlanta-based lawyer who specializes in white-collar and high-profile defense. Sado entered his appearance as lead counsel for Trump on Thursday, according to a filing with the Fulton County Superior Court, and accompanied Trump to the jail. ABC News was first to report the change.